Now we're going to learn how to uh, brainstorm keywords for a local business. Um, obviously, like a local business to be any type of local business. Uh, it could be a plumber, it could be a bakery, it could be a I don't know, electronic store, iPhone repair, whatever. Basically, a company that would be located in one one uh, city or maybe multiple cities, but like, you know, in a local locality um, rather than, you know, I would say I gave the example of a, 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 an accounting software that would be pretty much international. And I gave the example of, uh, you know, Verizon or um, Air in Ireland as being, you know, companies that are national, like so like a national phone company or national internet company, something like that. Uh, so now we're going to go with the, with the local business and we're going to talk about how to do keyword research for, for those guys, okay? Uh, so let me just get rid of my giant head. And um, what you're going to do is you're going to do this in Google AdWords um, or Google Ads, sorry. Um, so you're going to go to Google, or sorry, ads.google.com and sign up if you haven't uh, or sorry that's if you haven't already got an account if you have if you've already got an account great sign in go here and go keyword planner if you don't have an account set one up um there'll be a little onboarding flow when you set, when you sign up they'll try and get you to set up an ad um try and skip it if you can uh if not just put whatever in like just like literally go through it in a minute put in some fake keyword fake ad whatever and uh you know again like Google Ads is a really powerful tool, so you know you probably would want to consider setting up an AdWords campaign later as well, or a Google Ads campaign later as well. Um, for this, we're just going to do keyword research at this stage. And again, this keyword research can be used both for for SEO and for an ads campaign as well. So that's that's something to bear in mind. But anyway, what you want to do in the long story short is be able to get to here and be able to do keyword planner. From there, um, you're going to go discover new keywords. Now, in this example, what I'm going to say is I'm going to say that I have a, a client or my business is a plumber in Toronto. So um, my my company serves um, you know people in the greater Toronto area, right? Uh, so for the location, with that, I'll just probably put in location Canada, uh, or sorry, Ontario, Canada. So the whole province is a location because you can narrow it down to specifics, like so you can narrow it down to Toronto, but I prefer to get like usually the whole country or at least the whole province. Um, so my plumber uh, or my plumbing company offers various services, but I'm just going to start with just looking for the, the main keyword, which is a fairly obviously plumber, Toronto, you know. So, um, People are looking for a plumber, so plumber Toronto, plumbing Toronto. So I'm just brainstorming these. Also, what I'll do here is I'll search for keywords that I think that I would search myself if I was looking for a plumber in Toronto. So uh, Toronto plumber. Twenty-four hour plumber Toronto. Emergency plumber. Um, so I'm just going to go with these guys. So I click on get results here. You can't see it because of my head. Um, and then if you've watched the previous videos, you'll see that I, I prefer to work in Google Sheets. So I'm going to download this. Um, I'm going to come back here and uh, create a folder. For no, again, you can just do whatever you want. You don't necessarily have to work in Google Sheets, you can do this in Excel as well. Um, so I'll set that up, go and create a Google Sheet. I'll open my Excel sheet here. And um, basically, right, I'll just copy these columns. Or else you can just copy the whole thing and delete them later. But it's a smarter thing to do. And what I didn't do in the other videos is just copy the columns that you need. So it'll just be these guys. So I'm pasting these in, and I'm actually going to get rid of this bad boy here. Um, so now what I want to do is start eyeballing the keywords pretty much um, and what I'll do is I'll highlight highlight the ones that I um, that I like the look of so let me just get rid of this here let me try and move all right so this is 100 to me all right let's get rid so I'll start to highlight the ones that I like um, or the ones that I think that are relevant so no there's probably a better way to do this 
probably a more efficient way, but it's just the way that I like to do it because I think it's nice and visual. Um, so like there now here's a good example. So plumber Toronto is what I want. Plumbing supplies Toronto isn't what I want because I don't do plumbing supplies. Plumbing supplies would be a place that I'd go to buy my supplies, you know. Um, so again, plumbing companies. Um, I can see some other services starting to come up here there as well. So I'm going to like, so what I was actually going to do in a separate video, but I'm not going to bother now, was um, look for stuff like drain cleaning, drain and blocking and stuff like that. But I can see some of this is already starting to pop up, you know. So drain repair Toronto, uh, drain cleaning. So Google's actually helped me out here. Um, I'll try and avoid my competitors. Sorry, I didn't mean to um, highlight these guys. Like Noble Plumbing Toronto is more than likely another company. Um, Drain Toronto, Drain Snake in Toronto. They seem okay. Plumbing Repair Toronto. Again, Brothers is probably uh, another company. Maybe my services are cheap. Maybe I'm trying to get market share, so I charge really good prices. Maybe I don't really know yet, so I'm just going to include it anyway. Um, commercial plumbers would be another one. So, like, I'll carry on and go through all these and eyeball the whole thing and I'll highlight whatever is, you know, relevant to me. And then I'll go and delete the rest of them. And the next step then is to actually group the keywords together, put them in buckets, call it whatever you want. Um, so let's say, so like I would say plumber, plumbing companies, plumbing services, downtown, plumbing contractors. Right, so I'll do a different grouping here then for Drain Toronto. And I probably would have a separate page for emergency. Do you know what? I'm not going to decide that No, I'm actually going to put these together because they're along the same theme, you know. Um, but I definitely do think that commercial plumbers would be a separate page because it's a different type of service, you know. Um, so that'll be one group. This would be another. Um, let's just see the drains. What's actually, you know, what some of these are probably not relevant to each other. Actually, yeah, uh, you know, I'm going to leave these together. So, like, we've got two, di three different groups there. So, you've got commercial plumbers, you've got your residential services, you've got drain. And, like, again, now what I would do in real life here is that I'd go and look for some of the other services as well. Like, so what I do is I'd go back to and I'd look for burst pipe Toronto, you know, so I'll go back to this and I'll, and I'll look for that keyword as well and I'll, I'll think of all the services that I offer and then I'll go and look for them and start to create a load of these different groups right another tool that's useful um, is uber suggest it's free to use um, let's just see Canada so again I'll start here with this like plumber Toronto So this again will give me like keywords, like so it might give me some keywords that AdWords hasn't given me. Um, it might give me, you know, different variations. The other thing is that if you're not spending money with AdWords, it'll only give you a, a range. So 
excuse me, so with, with AdWords, if you're not spending money, it'll give you a range. So, it might say zero. so you can see here that I'm getting the numbers, whereas you might only see a range. You might see 0 to 100, 100 to 1,000, and so on. And that's probably because you're not spending money with AdWords. Um, and that's, you know, like, so, you know, if you want to see the full volumes, you can just spend spend a few bob, like spend a few dollars, spend a few hours with it. If not, you, um, you just will... You can do with the ranges, but what you could do is like, so let's say Plumber Toronto, let's say I didn't see the ranges here and it said 1,000 to 10,000, I want to get a better idea. I could just put it into to here and it'll give me an idea. Like, you know, no, again, none of these tools are perfect. None of them will give you the exact number. Even the Google one is probably, you know, estimated, but um, this one's matching up. So no, I could get my number here. You can export them or copy them to a clipboard. Um, I think it's a it's a free sign up or whatever, so like you can you can just go ahead and do that. I know that you, there's a paid version in there somewhere. I don't know what, what they don't necessarily know what they pay for or what you're paying for or what they charge for, but at the same time, uh, worth using. So you've got your two tools there. Now again, what I would do is I would go through and I would look for all of my services. So again, if I, you know, if I was a um a locksmith, I might look for different suburbs. You know, so I might say locksmith. Toronto, Locksmith, Scarborough, Locksmith, Mississauga, Lop, Locksmith, I'm sorry, not Locksmith, Locksmith, um, Thornhill, you know, so I might look for all those different um, regions or, you know, sorry, those suburbs of Toronto. I might also then look at the different services, so it might be like, you know, um, car unlocking Toronto or front door and lock and turn. so i think of all the different things that i that i would offer i think what people will google and then i'll go and do the keyword research to see what's the what's the actual search volume for something like that and and then like i said i'll go through I'll find the ones that i think look relevant and i'll group them together then and then you know further down the line i'm going to show you what, what i'll do next um but just for this stage go through do the keyword research find as many keywords as you can and group them together in relevant uh, relevant buckets or relevant groups and you will be doing pretty well.